Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we have to mark the close on Friday, September 8th. We're going to take a look at Biosept today. So Biosept had a big day today. And we're going to put in some levels on the chart. Um, it's also actually having a pretty solid after hours at the moment. And then we're going to flip over to the think or swim study and see where things are situated there. Now, um, this is not going to be a news segment. It's going to be a charting segment. But um, Biocept shares double while Plus Therapeutics shares sync on licensing agreement. So it appears to be a news driven, sort of business news driven uh, catalyst for today's run. Now, I had, for some reason, previously charted some levels here, it looks like, but I'm going to get rid of all those because they're irrelevant at this point. Um, one thing that I would say, as we're going to start left here, um, is I'll put in some levels. There's a big gap here, right? This day, she dropped 45%. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'll put, put a couple of notices here, essentially that there is a big gap. If it ever wants to get up there at about 254 or so, it would enter the gap and then it would fill the gap at about 409 or so. So really, really something of a gap there. Now I'm going to gray those out just because I don't want them to sort of be too much of a siren song drawing our attention, um, but we will certainly notice them if and when we get close to those levels. Now I'm going to look here at the previous price action to see when it was in this range in say the one, we'll look maybe about 120 all the way up to about um, say high ones and put some levels in, in those ranges to see you know where things might kind of take shape. So here's a level here that I would put in 119.7 so maybe more like 120. Uh, this looks like there's a level that would go here, about 128. And then we're just going to get closer and closer in to our current price point of 134. Or I guess our, that was our closing price point. 133.5, I would say, is a level. Makes sense. Uh, this is a pretty good level here. 145. Let me see if there's something in between there. Okay, if anything, this one could convince me, 138. Um, and then there might be just a little bit of space between 138 to 145, which, you know, percentage-wise, that's, that's quite a percentage gap there. So we'll see if price action kind of develops. Really strong level there, 155.6. Um, 171. I'll put this wiki double bottom in here, but I don't know how strong that is, but to at least sort of like fill that gap, I'll put it there. 180. Let me see if this, this level might look better. Yeah, I'll say this level looks better. 182. Okay, so that's probably enough so that we don't too sort of drastically clutter up the chart. Now, I'd be remiss since we just put in a gap to not put in this gap, right? So I'll put one in here, which would draw it all the way down to about 86, 87 cents or so um, after today's big move up, obviously. Um, I won't put the entering the gap there. Well, no, we should probably do it just to know if at some point, okay, we're, we're in the gap. Let me just put it actually at the bottom of this. All right, so there we go. There's the gap. 122 down to about 86.87. Um, so, yeah, this this is what it looks like to me. Now, if we zoom in today and see how it reacted off of these levels that we just charted, um, pretty wild day today, obviously. So it couldn't hold that 182, kind of got pinned here between these levels, spent quite a bit of time at 155 down to 145 level. I think it was that 155 I said looked really strong. Um, you know, doing a good job sort of catching itself at these support levels down here around 128. Um, stretched down close to that 120 level, came within two pennies, 
then pushed off, regained that 128, pushed through the 33. Uh, now it's trying to flip the 38 and then flip the 45 is what it looks like it's trying to do at the moment. So we'll see if it has more juice in it or not. Now, just keep in mind as we flip over to Thinkorswim, this we charted on the daily. Uh, Thinkorswim doesn't do a good job of low price stocks that have spent a lot of time sideways um, on the daily. So we have to change the time frame to the one hour to make it sort of any bit of useful. You see, spending uh, many, many days <laughs> just sort of mid range of the channel, a few like blips pressing the channel, but nothing major. Now, today, of course, with these hour candles, big stretch up here, um, coming in well out of the channel, right? This this um, green bullish trend cloud even stretching well over the upper bound of the channel, which is right here, which you rarely see. But this was obviously such a dramatic move. Um, and then pulling back in. Now, the interesting thing is, you know, what would indicate to me that it has a lot of bullish momentum still left in it, or at least some bullish momentum left in it, is if it rides this wave cloud as support and then pushes off again. Oftentimes what we look for is eventually when something leaves the channel for it to come down and test the mid range of the channel, which right now is this bright blue line situated at 117. That obviously changes as candles get put in. So, you know, that's, that's going to be the question is uh, where's that mid range going to be and when is it going to pull back into it? You know, eventually I would say it would, uh, it's just going to be a question of when it can spend a lot of time out of, uh, out of the channel, and they can spend a lot of time not retracing back to the mid-range. But, um, but that's what we start to look for when things push out. So we'll see if that takes a while or if it takes shape relatively soon. But, you know, if, if in this uh, after hours today, it's able to continue to ride this wave as support, that could be uh, a pretty bullish sign. Now, the other interesting thing here is it was triggering for several days on the TTM squeeze indicator prior to this move. So it triggered all the way up to this move. So that's going to be the other question. Was this the entirety of the move? Uh, it was obviously a big enough move to be considered a huge move. Um, but is that going to be all of it? Or is there more to come? That will be kind of the question um, as it's clearly firing here with all of these candles. Um, while the bullish momentum started to die down toward the end of the day today, it wasn't a huge, huge die down. Um, so we'll see if, if that is a nice smooth up and then draws back down and then what it does from there. Or if it has, you know, what I call like a hiccup candle, which is sort of here when you have bearish momentum picking up and then it dies down and then it picks up again and then it dies down and then it picks up again. <laughs> like this real sort of like herky jerky action. Um, yeah, there's a lot left to s sort of sort out with such a, a wild move today, um, at least on the think or swim study. Here, um, the good news is it's been through this price range before, so we have some prior price action, even if it's not a ton, some prior price action to sort of plot some levels off of. All right, folks, I hope that you had a good trading day and that you enjoy your weekend. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.